Well, we don't know the outcome. How the outcome will be, you may not believe. Lack of, lacking belief in something. Why well, you don't, you lack belief in something that it can't be. The last one. No belief in God. Look for the, he never rest one minute. That's why in the book of 1 Peter 5, it says something. If you see, please help me read it. 1 Peter 5, 8. eight. Yes. Be sober. Yes. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary. Because this is our adversary. The devil. The devil. As a roaring lion. As a roaring lion. Walk it about. He's walking about. Seeking whom he may devour. He's looking for the heart that is loose. He's looking for the heart that is not open to the will of God. He's looking for the person that when God says oh, this something, he will say, ah, how can this be? Is a person, is, the devil is, person, is a person that when the man of, said man of God says something and he prophesies to the life of the members, that person will see, the, how can this thing be? How can this thing be? But when we be vigilant, just like the first Peter told us, we have to be vigilant. We must not look lose our sight at all. We must not let the devil, we, we must not be carried away. We will not allow the devil to carry all our mind away so that we can enjoy the goodness of God. When fire hit us like a box, how do we feel it? When there's fire hit us like we are, we are in the boxing ring, do we allow the devil to win or we allow God to take the advantage? Do we allow the devil to take the advantage of our situation? To turn our mind against what God can do, what God, God will do, do we allow the devil to turn our mind against what God will do? The said man of God will prophesy to our life. He will say, Go and prosper, go and do good, go and multiply, go and increase, and so and so forth. Inside you, after the service, you will go on both sides. This thing is good. But how can this thing be? If you have that, 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 that kind of mind, you are a doubtful person. Your faith is not full. Our faith, our big faith. This morning, thank God for the message that they get, the, the topic they give to me. Since the so, since the day they give me this uh, program, I said that, well, Friday is a busy day for me. But that day, God is assuring me that that day, he will make that day easy for me. Suddenly, something come up this, after, this morning. One of our boss from NHQ will not tell her anything. He just pumped to him. But then say, there's a seminar and there's a lecture. Inside that lecture, I don't understand myself because my mind is at church. We finished the first one. He said, let's go for a break. We are coming for the second one. I said, God. And you know the topic I have today. Now, this is a test of my faith. I call Pastor Lawo, you can bear me witness. Immediately we finish the first lecture. I say, Pastor, I'm in fix. Now, today is my program. And now, our, the boss of my boss and the boss of other boss is around. He's a white man. So, there's nothing we can tell him that he will allow us because he think maybe we are dodging something for him. And after the... Immediately I called Pastor Lawo Yi. He called me back. We pray. In fact, since that time, my mind was doubting myself whether I will be here or not. But that spirit just come, come to me that go and meet your boss. Tell him you have a program you are going. Immediately I go, and I go to my boss that my sir, I have a program I'm going. He said, okay. He said, what about that program? I said, everything is in the system. I've arranged every, all the meetings. He said, okay, you can go. Even before, after four o'clock, I'm here. And then when I sit down there, that spirit is telling me, can you see yourself? And you are going to preach today about darkness. Something that I've already perfect. Likewise, too, when God tells you something, as he's telling me, how many prophecy the man of God has said to our life, do we, do, does the prophecy follows to the door of the entrance of the church? Talk, talk of the car park. Does we carry the prophecy to our house, as, a man, as people of God, let's have great faith in our life. If Abraham 
Abraham, when God broke, tell him what he's going to do in his life. It's like us. Is that God? But God showed himself to him that he's more than a human being. Likewise, me and you, God is telling us he's more than us. And he's powered over our life. We continue in the name of Jesus. Whether devil like it or not, Jesus will reign in our life in the name of Jesus. It's a spirit. Doubtfulness. Faithlessness. It's a spirit. We should not allow that spirit to move with us. This 2018, God is giving us, since they give us uh, this, the, the team for this year, how many times have you doubt God? That limitless possibility. Where is he taking me to? Are you not asking God? I try to ask God. Limitless possibility. God, what do you have for me? Where, where is he taking me to? And if God has already put it in this, in this, the mouth of his, as an anointed man, that this is God, what he's going to do for us this year. We are still doubting God. When we come to church, we pray. We say amen. Our amen is louder. But immediately, we leave the service. Before we read the junction there, we have forgot the amen that as loud as anything. We go back and think, all those prayers, where is my home there? Are you asking God? You are doubting God. You are doubting him what he's going to do. And he has power over everything. Move. And be thou cast into the sea. Go to the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart. And you don't doubt in your heart. But shall believe that those things which he has said shall and come to pass. And you believe in those things that will come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. It will come to pass. That's why when the man of God will stand and prophesy to our life. The prophecy of January. The end of the year. The one the eternity that we are going to leave this world. They have prophesied to our life. They have given us a certificate. That no one is going to die. When you are when you are traveling, how do you cheat you? Ah, I forget this that thing that Baba gave me in the house. Ah. When we finish service, you know where you go. Prophet. Ah, prophet Oshe, because you go cook crosses, you go for me. I think back ball. I think the old be a long bone in Ugo. Come on, we'll pay ya. We'll leave a so when the man of God say something, because God give respect to His word. When the man of God say something, is the God that said said it? Romans fourteen twenty three. of Romans fourteen twenty three tell us about this faithlessness and doubtful. Doubtfulness is damned. Yeah. If he eats, if he eats, be eaten not of faith. For whatsoever have uh, in him. He said, if somebody had a stomach up there, he would take Panadol and pray on it. And it's, you know, Panadol cannot heal stomach trouble. And it will go. A little, he was moving in faith. And he could lay hands on the skin, sick. So it depends on the level of faith. God will help us in Jesus' name. We have five minutes more, Abby. Okay. Three minutes more, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, when we look at the book of Hebrews 11.6, it says it is impossible to please God. I mean, without faith, it's possible to please God. That he, he who comes to God must believe that he's the order of them that seek him diligently. My question is this. Is it, promise, is it possible to create the house of God every time without faith? Is it possible? As we are here now, we have come to the presence of the Lord. Is it possible for us to come without faith? Let us respond. Let us respond. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As the God lecture, let us respond. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, chase, chase. Uh, lecture hours so you pay it's a spirit. Lati wa you know the lot like mung bag or lower, but on getting there, in ye may jill is setting. Uh faithlessness is setting. It's a spirit. So on, on unless the rebuke such spirit that uh, right from my house, I come here for prayer that my prayer will be answered. And the 
13. Ah. You leave me in Jesus' name. So it's Et tu t'as l'autre à compter en son nom. T'as l'autre de force. Yes. yes. It is possible to come to church to the presence of God without faith. For example, now I want to cite an example okay. whereby you are not uh, financially buoyant and you come, you have um, gesetted that money with you that you know, and, um, there, an altar call is given to give offering. And you are looking at that money. And the man of God is in front of you saying that don't worry. The spirit of God said you should turn everything over. If you, it, because of your present situation, it's possible for you to hold on to that money. Okay, ah, can you pass on so Tony? But if the word of God have found life in you, have, have met with faith in you, you'll be able to turn it over and God, I know I'm not going to trek home. You will provide a means for me to get home, and it will be so. So when we come to the presence of God, initially, that we are there without having faith. Come. Making something to stand in your life. I'm going to sing one for you tonight. Kile ole she, olorumi, kile ole she, kile ole she, Oloro kile o le se eyin ti e da aye atoro kile o le se kile o le se oloro mi kile o le se he that created the heaven and the earth what else can he not do just lift up your voice and pray that Father, tonight, I have come to renew my faith in you. That man came to Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if you have faith, this your sons, able, in the name of Jesus. Even when I have doubted, Father, make me, prove me wrong. Prove yourself right in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lift up your water, your anointing oil, and pray. Who will sanctify it? Shall we pray, ladies and gentlemen? Now that we pray.